cup of coffee. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice. And what time is it? 9.30. 9.30, Santa Madre. What's the matter? Why you let me sleep so long? Enzo. Hey, I should be in the cab at 8 o'clock. Enzo. I've got no time to talk now. Hey, come on, whoever's in there, come on, please, I'm late. I've got it. Hey, don't worry, Roberto, I'm running late. Good boy, thank you. <laughs> What's he late for? Work. Sunday. I know it's Sunday, you know it's Sunday, but not your papa. <laughs> That's dad. Never knows what day it is. Morning, Ma. Morning. My razor blade's gone. Who using my shave? I have that. Hey, what, are you starting to shave? <laughs> Legs, Dad. Legs? Uh, never mind, I'll shave later. Hey, Maria, you give me a clean shirt, huh? Calm down, Enzo. I've got no time to calm down. Morning, everybody. What are you doing here? I live here. <laughs> Never mind you live here, you get ready for school. I'm not going to school today. Hey, listen, don't argue with Papa, you get ready for the school. But school's closed. Closed? What's this? Another teacher's a strike? <laughs> it's Sunday. Hey, every day for you is a su <laughs> Sunday? Yeah, it usually comes between Saturday and Monday. Hey, che cretino. <laughs> Why you no tell me? You no letter me. <laughs> Why are you going back to bed? It's a Sunday, I'm a tired. <laughs> Maria, hey, come have a little cuddle, eh? I thought you were tired. I'm not that tired. <laughs> well, let's go to mass then. I know, we go to mass tonight. Come on, Avanti, you die. Just for half an hour, eh? <laughs> you always get your way. Carissima! Enzo! Maria! <laughs> Who is it? It's only me. Uh, was I interrupting anything? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> what do you want as if I don't know? <clears throat> <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Maria. Enzo. Santa Madonna. Can I borrow your lipstick, Mel? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a lock on that door. <laughs> Maria. Enzo. Excuse me. Uh, why don't you knock when you come in? What for? <laughs> Never mind, what do you want? Do you want to come and play soccer with me? <laughs> Not just this minute. How long will you be? Ten wow. minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes? Okay. Maria. Hello. Madonna. Maria. It's the door! I'm in the bathroom! Roberto! It's the door! He's on the phone! Antonio's in front of the door! He's at the back! Accidenti! Ma perché tocca sempre a me? We don't want any! <laughs> Father Murphy! <laughs> Come in, father. <laughs> I can't stay. Eh, hey, that's a pity. My wife, Maria, she's very disappointed she misses you. Oh, well, just for a few minutes, perhaps. Uh, I wouldn't want to disappoint your wife. I think I'm the one who's going to be disappointed. <laughs> in the kitchen, is she? Eh, hey, no, no, she's... Eh, on the other hand, you must be very busy, man, of father. Oh, well, actually, yes, I was on my way to the convent to say mass. I just called to apologize. Hey, you priest! What are you going to apologize for saying a mass? No, 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 Mr. Pacelli. The parish magazine. Uh, the story about you bringing your mother out from Italy. Hey, I'm in a magazine. Well, yes and no. And what do you mean a yes and a no? Well, I'm afraid there's been a bit of a mix-up. I'm not in a magazine? Oh, yes, you're in it all right, but not on the front page. Hey, where am I? In the obituary column. <laughs> Madonna mia, I'm dead and nobody telling me. <laughs> well, don't worry, Mr. Pacelli. 
I'm sure in the next issue we can arrange a resurrection. <laughs> yes, well, I'll be on my I'm sorry to miss your wife, but uh, I've got to get on with the job. Me too. Peace be with you. Grazie. It's a father, Murphy. Tell us we're not in the magazine. Hey, Maria, what are you doing here? I'm not in the mood anymore. <laughs> all right, we all go to mass. Enzo, why don't we go out for the day? Out? Yes, like we used to, you know. Take some vino, some cold chicken, some salami. Hey, it's a good idea. We have a picnic in the bushes, eh? Hey, all the family, all together. Hey! Antonio, Roberto, Anna, we're gonna go out for a picnic, eh? Eh, I know just to the spot. We're lost. <laughs> we're not lost, we just don't know where we should be on a map. <laughs> eh, eh, why didn't you look at a map, Maria? I couldn't, the car kept jumping up and down. Why didn't you jump up and down with it? <laughs> we're lost. Eh, we're not lost. Eh. Listen, anybody seen that sign uh, five minutes ago? I did. Hey, good. What did it say? Uh, Dangalo Bridge. Hey, Dangalo Bridge. I look it up on the map. I don't think it'll be on the map, Dad. Sure be on the map. It's a very good map. There's no such place as Dangalo Bridge. Sure it is. Your mama, she seen it five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I saw it as well. Didn't say Dangalo Bridge. All right, a smarter pants. So what did it say? Danger. Low Bridge. <laughs> We're lost. I should have brought my compass. Hey, you'll be lost in a minute if you don't shut up your face. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. The uh, sun is there, so we must be facing Singapore. I'm hungry. So am I. Yeah, me too. Can we eat? No. We don't eat until we get there. If we don't know where we are, how can we get anywhere? We just go on until we find us somewhere and nice. I know somewhere nice. Where? Home. Ah. Uh, will we ever see home again? Oh. I wonder how many days it will be before we're missed. Uh, maybe someone will notice the newspapers piling up on the porch. By the time I send a search party out to find us, it could be too late. All I'll find is a pile of whitened bones. <laughs> You'll be quiet, otherwise I'll give you a knuckle uh, hamburger. I, I don't know why I ever suggest this. First you try to kill us, now you lose us. I don't try to kill anybody. You almost hit a tree when you swerve to avoid knocking that poor bloke off his motorbike. Hey, hey, he cut in in front of me. Only because you overtook him on the bend, going uphill. And almost forced him off the road. And then called him a ding-battered drongo. <laughs> Was his fault? Hey, Enzo, why don't we try to go home? Uh, listen, we decide to go on a picnic, we're going to go on a picnic. Come on, everybody in the car, we go, eh? Papa. Now what? I need to go somewhere. We are going to somewhere. I need to go and find a tree. What do you want to find a tree for? <laughs> What's the next letter after O? A Q. That's, <laughs> that's near enough. Hey, you hurry up, otherwise we don't get nowhere. Oh, you're right, Papa. We aren't going to get nowhere. Hey, what do you mean? This tire's flat. Mortachi. Hey, it's right, Enzo. It is flat. Why don't you blow it out? <laughs> Blow it up, what do you think, it's a balloon? All right, I change the wheel. Uh, Roberto. Yes, Dad? Go get the spare wheel. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Home. Listen, I ask you to get a spare wheel. Yeah, well, uh, that's where it is. Okay? Well, it's in the garage. We had to take it out of the boot to make way for the esky. Gesù, <laughs> Giuseppe, Maria. Can't you patch this one, Dad? Patch? What do you think I'm a patch with, a piece of salami? <laughs> all right, everybody, you all stay here. I'm going to find a garage somewhere, all right? Be careful, Papa. The bush is a dangerous place. Tony's right. There's all sorts of nasty things out there. Funnel webs. Tiger snakes. red back spiders. Scorpions. And wild wombats. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Roberto, I think you better go, huh? Enzo, you afraid? Me, Enzo Pacelli, afraid? Roberto, come with me. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, hey, Roberto, uh, come on, let's just stop a minute, huh? You're out of condition, Dad. Hey, Roberto, look, uh, we've been walking for nearly two hours. 
Alex, go back. Your mama, she's gonna be worried stiff. Let's just go around the next bend. Hey, I'm already around the bend, huh? <laughs> now let's go back to the car, huh? Hang on. There's cattle around here. And where there's cattle, there's people. Hey, how you know there's a cattle? <laughs> Look what you just put your foot into. <laughs> Two shillings a gallon. Not exactly the latest line in service stations. Just as long as they got a spare wheel. You wait here, I'll go inside. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> hey, she's stuck. Hey, look, I'm in a bit of trouble. I've got a flat tyre. Yeah, you've got more trouble, so I'm closed. You're hey, closed? Well, it's Sunday, it's me day off. Uh, uh, look, uh, I want to buy a spare wheel. I, uh, I fix it myself, huh? It'll cost you $50. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I was a bit cranky, matey. But uh, it's just one of them days. Eh, uh, sure, I understand. That's okay. Yes, yeah, you know, I was nearly a goner a couple of hours ago. Some old coot tried to run me off the road. Yeah, crazy drivers on the road. Uh, lunatics. Yeah, they should all be locked up. Well, I tell you this, mate. If I ever see that old coot again, I'll do him. Overtook me on a bend. Yeah, hey, listen to me. A man, he's trying to cut in the front of me. Uh, going up a hill. Yeah, if I had not... <laughs> uh, you say going up a hill? Yeah. Uh, around a bend? That's right. <laughs> Were you, uh... On a motorbike? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Why? Uh, nothing. Uh, you never seen his face? No, no. I didn't. <laughs> he was driving a green Austin. Ah, well, uh, I'm a driver blue hold. Eh? Mm. It's a blue, all over. <laughs> a Sunday driver, eh? A day out with the family. Me? I'm by myself, eh? Uh, uh. Mister, by myself, just on my own. Any luck, Dad? <laughs> and my son, just the two of us. We should be getting back. Mum will think we're lost. And my wife, just the three. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind betting that Anna and Tony have scoffed all the food. And my two other kids are just the five of us in our blue holding. What are you talking about, Dad? We got a green Austin. <laughs> Well, now, isn't that interesting? Oh, look, mister, I'm sorry. i make a mistake, huh? Anybody should can make a mistake. Yes, well, I'll go and get your $100 wheel. Hey, you said it was... <laughs> mister, you say it's a $50. Yes, like you said, anybody can make the mistake. <laughs> Watch out, Anna, there's a snake. Where? Here. Ah! You little brat! Looks real, doesn't it? Okay, it's a fix. Finalmente. If you just help us a little, we would have finished you quicker, huh? But then why get my hands dirty? Mm, you bump. Are we going home now, Dad? No, we're not. And so it's getting late. And I'm getting hungry. Come on, we're having a picnic. Uh, we've already had the picnic. Oh, don't worry, Carlo. I saved you some salami. It's in the esky. No, it isn't. Where is it? In my stomach. <laughs> You ate it. Well, I didn't know you were saving it. Never mind. There's a pizza in here somewhere. Oh, no. I finished that off. There's nothing left for me to eat, huh? Uh, a tin of anchovies. <laughs> All right, I have the anchovies. But there's no tin opener. <laughs> I've got a stick of licorice, Papa. You stick, you... <laughs> Never mind. We all go home. I'm not hungry anymore. It's a picnic and finish. Come on. Dad, uh, which way is home? We turn around and we go back the way we come, like the garage man told me. Now, come on, everybody in the car. It won't start. Wait a minute. I fixed it. Roberto, get in there and start off, huh? Okay. All right, let's start. Start a cretino. Dad, 
the fuel gauge reads empty. Hey, sure it reads empty. It's been reading empty for years as a broke. <laughs> How can you tell whether the tank's full or empty? I use it as a dipstick, eh? <laughs> Take it a dipstick? Come on, I'll show you. I put it in the tank, and then we can see, eh? Eh, you all this, eh? Take the dipstick, put it in the tank, then when we take it out, we can see whether it's a full or it's empty. <laughs> hey, hello. Hello, mister. Hello. <laughs> Not you again. What do you want now? Uh, look, uh, Miss I'm in the trouble again, huh? Uh, what is it this time? I don't know the petrol, huh? Oh, you are having a bad day, aren't uh, you? Uh, you? You give me a gallon on the petrol, I'll pay for it, huh? Give me one good reason why I should. Uh, I'll pay you a double. <laughs> That's a good enough reason. <laughs> Back in a minute. human body is composed of 72% water, or in Dad's case, vino. Don't make fun of your father. He's been gone a long time. Yeah, if he doesn't get back soon, it'll be dark. We could be stuck here for days. Oh, good. What's good about it? I wouldn't have to do my extra homework. <laughs> Why have you got extra homework? Have you been a bad boy? No. I don't believe you. What have you done wrong? Nothing. Well, nothing much. Tell me. I let Stinker Corman wear my tie to the French exam. Why not wear his own tie? His didn't have the answers written on it. Antonio, <laughs> you help him cheat. Well, not really. The answers were all wrong. <laughs> you should be ashamed. Well, I can't help it if I'm no good at French. Dad! That's uh, me. <laughs> Thank goodness you're back. You've been a long time. What happened? I'm a halfway here. There's no petrol in there, so I've got to go all the way back to the garage. Oh, never mind, car. You're here now. Put the petrol in the car. I can't. Why not? When I go back to the garage, it's so close. <laughs> we are going to be stuck here for the night. That's right. I don't want to stay here all night. Look, you don't want to stay here all night. Your mama don't want to stay here all night. Nobody want to stay here all night. Do me a favor, Dad. Next Sunday, just stay in bed. <laughs> Burke and Wills all over again. Okay? Burke and Wills. They went out in the bush, just like us. They had no food and water, just like us. And they got lost, just like us. Hey, what happened to them? They died. <laughs> Don't worry, Maria. Nobody's gonna die. Tomorrow's Monday. All the garage is open. We fill it up. Everything's gonna be okay cooked. It's gonna be a long night. Hey, look, it's just a few hours, that's all. If we survive. Uh, now, you be quiet, huh? Otherwise, the next Sunday, I'm gonna take you to a requiem mass. Yours. <laughs> be quiet, both of you. I think we all should try and get some sleep. We can't go to sleep now. It's still broad daylight. It'll do us good. What will? An early night. Hey, it's a good idea, Maria. Hey, you get the cushions, eh? Ah, hey, here's a blanket for you, and it's a blanket for Mama there. Hey, you sleep in there. Tony, we're gonna sleep out here, all right? It's only half past five. We can't go to bed yet. <laughs> you got something better to do, huh? Like we go dancing to a nightclub, huh? <laughs> We're out here in the bush, all right? Now, come on, please, settle down. I'll be walking 33 miles from there and back, huh? Now, please, settle down. We get a little rest, huh? Come on. We try to get a little bit of sleep, okay? And it's sleep. But when the search helicopter finds us, I think we're all dead. <laughs> now, Tony, please, sit quiet. And let me have a little rest, huh? Just a little rest. We all go to sleep, please. We try.
Buenas noches, caro. <risa> Buenas noches, María. Say good night to your mama. Good night, mama. Good night. Good night, Dad. <laughs> good night, Anna. Good night, Anna. <laughs> good night, Anna. <laughs> good night. Good night, Roberto. <laughs> good night, Dad. Good night, Papa. <laughs> good night, Tony. <laughs> Bobby! Hey! Hey, Bobby! What do you want? Good night, Bobby. <laughs> now I... <sighs> Good night, I'm coming. <laughs> now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I hope I get a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm dying. Do not feel well, Caro. I just have been bitten by a snake. Madonna mia! Are you sure it was a snake? Sure, I'm sure it was a snake. It was the worst kind. I'm a dead man. We got to get a doctor. Uh, too late, Maria. I'm on the way out. What's going on? Your papa's been bitten by a snake. You sure you didn't dream it? I'm sure. I had it in my hand. I'm a dead man. Oh, Dad! Shh, quiet, please. Don't wake Antonio. Well, he, he should be awake. No, no, let him sleep. I don't want him to see his papa dying. <laughs> Can't even do anything. Oh, if it was a tiger snake, uh, he's had it. Uh, oh, I'm sure there's something we can do. I'm a dead man. Uh, papa? Antonio, well, we wake you up, huh? Uh, oh, not really. Uh, you got to be a brave boy, Antonio. Dad's been bitten by a snake. I'm a dead man. I don't want you to die, Dad. Uh, thank you, Marie. Thank you, but it's uh, too late. Papa. I'm a dead man. Papa! Uh, you got to be a good boy for your mama, huh? Maria. Enzo! Maria, I'm trying to be a good husband. You've been a wonderful husband. <laughs> you say goodbye to mama for me, mm. and you tell her I'm going to be with the papa soon. <laughs> Papa, there's something I ought to tell you. What is it to my son? Well, I think you're going to hit me. I'm not going to hit you. You promise? I promise, not when I'm dying. <laughs> you're not dying. Hey, you got to face the facts of <laughs> It was a rubber snake. I know, Papa. Okay. I put it on you for a joke. I could murder you. Me too, will I get you home? You're not going to be able to sit on it for a whole week. You, you promised you wouldn't hit me. All right, I promise. I'm not going to hit you, but your mama, she is. I sure will. Now let's all try to get some sleep. And no more jokes. What a day. <laughs> well, at least it can't get worse. I mean, at least it's not raining. <laughs> <laughs> Salute! Ah, I got pneumonia. <laughs> hey, Roberto, it's nearly full. You ready to switch on, huh? Yes, Dad. I told you to sleep in the car. I tried, but the handbreaker was uh, sticking in my bump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roberto. Hey, come on. You switch on, huh? Why won't it start? The battery sounds flat. Well, that's funny. It was working all right during the night. Well, what do you mean? 
Well, I was cold, so I turned the heater on. <laughs> then, so why are you looking at me like that? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> This a picnic, you are all idea, huh? First of all, we get lost, and now there is a flat tire. I run out of petrol, and then there's a snakes and the stones. And now we got a flat battery! Right, I'm just gonna sit down here, like this, and I'm gonna wait. Wait for what? For an earthquake. <laughs> At least we're on our way. Oh, oh, oh.